So I just got done filming this week's edition of the Countdown, the kickoff show, uh, just a little bit ago here with Steve Budin. Hey, uh, listen, I want to tell you guys, um, if you would like to be alerted when the specialty shows, the Countdown, the kickoff show, the Rearview Mirror show, the specials we do in March Madness are available here to be viewed you can simply scroll down the page underneath this week's edition of the Rear View Mirror Show. Just scroll down a little bit. You'll see a link, which will take you to my YouTube channel. If you subscribe to the YouTube channel, when I upload those specialty videos, you'll get a notification. Now, I do not send notifications for these daily videos because that would drive me crazy and would drive you crazy because you would get like 360 notifications a year. That would be stupid. I know a lot of guys that do that. A lot of people send out YouTube notifications for every single daily video. That is insane. I only do it for the weekly shows, the special edition shows. So maybe it's like, you know, 20 notifications a year. But, you know, they get posted in the middle of the day, uh, early in the week. So it's a great way to be informed. And again, scroll down the page underneath the rearview mirror uh, video. You'll see the little link. It'll take you to my YouTube channel. Just subscribe. It's a piece of cake. And again, I don't abuse it because uh, if I was in somebody's shoes and I got 800 notifications a year, I would be pissed off. So that's an option for you. Uh, anyway, did the show this morning. And um, right now I'm wearing more makeup than your wives, your girlfriends, your mistresses. Maybe they're one and the same. Maybe they're all separate. We won't go there and we'll just move on from that subject. Uh, one thing I learned early, uh, do your own makeup if you're doing any type of TV. I learned how to do makeup when I was in college. Uh, one thing, I'll, here, I'll tell you what. Um, so for years I was doing TV for Comcast uh, in New York and Philadelphia. And what happens is when you go to these stations, okay, they have makeup artists. And it's like a cattle call. It's a production. Uh, you have two or three hosts on the show. You have seven or eight guests. You have three or four shows. You know, you got to get in and out of makeup quickly. It's five or six minutes. Boom, you're gone. They're doing multiple people. So the makeup artists, 99% of the time, they're using air guns. These hydraulic air guns, they put in your color and they shoot it on your face. Well, it's great for them. It's great for most people. As far as I'm concerned, it stinks because what happens is you get makeup all over your collars. Hey, you're wearing nice shirts. Try to get the makeup stains out of your collars because the makeup's going all the way down your, your neck and your shin, which you've got to have it done because the high-definition camera suddenly will pick up all these white spots. Impossible to get it out in light-colored shirts, okay? Then you're getting the makeup shot. It gets in your hair. It gets in your ears. It gets every place. It's just a nightmare. It gets on your silk ties. Ruins your ties. Absolutely ruins your ties because they're in a rush. They don't give a damn where the hell it shoots. That's just how it goes. So I do my own, and I've done my own for like 20-some years. So, you know, I put on the concealer so you don't see those black circles under my eyes because I'm not getting any sleep. You know, I put the contour in to emphasize the chin lines, the cleft in my chin, which I can actually notice now that I've dropped 20 pounds. There's always a benefit there. Um, you know, and, and then you're putting your blush on, you're putting your color on, you're putting the HD powder to take away the shine on top of everything else. Uh, you know, I think actually if I give up handicapping, I think I'll probably be working at the uh, makeup counter at Macy's where I believe that right now, if you spend $20, you'll get a special. We've got a Clinique bonus set for you. What do you think? You think I have a future there? Anyway, last night, uh, how better than New York Jets? Cashed in with a 10 dime play on Arizona, which capped the three and one football weekend, which is nice to say. Uh, props going out to Steve Budins, Cali Cartel, as they improved the nine and three on the season in the NFL. You got their back to back winners on Houston because they instructed you, Steve did, to buy down the half point on the Texans and their overtime win and cover against the Indianapolis on Sunday night. And last night, you got their Monday night game of the year, part number two on Arizona. And you've got in every single one of their NFL plays this season for at least half price off. Uh, you may have noticed here at the site that I've made some changes in the handicappers. Some of them have actually decided to pull out on their own. Uh, Scott Delaney, one of the charter members of the site, decided that after many, many years of doing this every single day, listen, I know what a grind and a chore it is. Uh, he decided he wanted to uh, give it up because it became too much of a grind. So he exited. Jeff Benton decided he wanted to take a hiatus. So he is gone as well. So I've made some changes. I've added some guys. Uh, Bob Valentino, who was here at the site many years ago, and left like, uh, oh my gosh, like 2011. Um, he came back. Uh, Brett Atkins, who was here for a cup of coffee a couple, oh, maybe two and a half years ago, 
Um, he had expressed an interest a couple of years ago in coming back, so I hired him again. Great guy. You can read their bios. A new guy I gave an opportunity to, Eric Schroeder. I'm sorry, Eric Schrader. It looks like Schroeder, but it's pronounced Schrader. Uh, he is back, and he is one of the featured plays today as well. Uh, yesterday, you got his first 75-dime play of the season. It was one of the huge featured discount plays. The Indians, plus $1.65. Today, his second-ever 75-dime release, which, again, is the biggest play he has released so far. You get it for over half price off by using the coupon code BASEBALL. And it's on your nighttime game between the Cubs and the Dodgers. Now, let me talk about this particular game as a free selection for you. Um, You know, Jake Arrieta made me a hell of a lot of money last year. Made me a hell of a lot of money in the first half this season. Second half of the season, um, I rode him a little bit out of that all-star break. But I quickly wisened up and realized that this was a guy that I can no longer take to the bank. He was not the same pitcher. I don't know if it's because of the number of innings he threw last year. I don't know if he just lost it. It wasn't that became he became a bad pitcher. He just wasn't that guy that you could count on religiously anymore. And you look at his numbers. He had a 4.60 earn run average in September, a 3.21 earn run average in August, a 4.88 earn run average in July. Listen, the Cubs are a great team, but the Dodgers right now have some great momentum. Uh, They were given up for dead in the National Series, and they came back and won it, including that incredible performance in game number five on the road. Then in Wrigley, they lose that heartbreaker in game number one. They go to Clayton Kershaw. They win game number two. They win it in one-nothing fashion, and they did what they had to do. They achieved the split in the first two games. Now they're home for three in a row. And at home this year, you know the Dodgers were 53 and 28. They're going with Rich Hill. Rich Hill pitched well for them in limited action in the regular season. Rich Hill in the postseason, we don't know what Rich Hill could do because he got the hook so quickly in his last start by Dave Roberts. But hey, Dave Roberts has done a masterful job, just like Terry Francona has done, with pulling his starters and going to his bullpen throughout the postseason. So who's to complain? In this particular spot, I just think the Dodgers are playing with such momentum. I'm going to take a shot and go with Rich Hill and the Dodgers tonight as your complimentary play. Again, Dodgers got some momentum. I know Clayton Kershaw is not going to be pitching tonight, but I'm willing to take a shot with the Dodgers here in a virtual pick game with the momentum and Hill pitching in this one because I just don't have faith. I know Jake Arrieta, last time he pitched, August uh, 30th, 2015 at Dodger Stadium, threw a new hitter. I know that in his one start this year against the Dodgers at home, Wrigley Field in May, seven innings of shutout ball, a game that surprisingly the Dodgers actually eventually won. But I just would rather go against Arietta tonight because the guy just didn't make me any money the second half of the season. So that'll do it. I wish you well. All the other discounts, promos, etc., including the charity play of the week from Bob Valentino, who is one. Um, let me just check for you. Valentino is on a nice little roll. NLCS total of the year. Cubs, Dodgers over under. He's going for winning day number 12 out of 16. You get that play for free tonight simply by using the coupon code free. Oh, also. Uh, NHL action tonight. Uh, Dom Chambers, uh, the dominator, we like to call him. He has come back. Uh, Gabriel DuPont and Dom Chambers, uh, they are going to be the exclusive NHL handicappers here at the site for this season. I found that last year the NHL interest here uh, late in the regular season and the postseason was incredible. I'll tell you why, too. This is why I found, and Vegas found this out as well last year, NHL action was never stronger. You know why? Because baseball bettors and NHL bettors have something in common. NHL bettors, as the game has changed and the betting industry has changed in baseball over the years, everybody's used and accustomed to betting games on the run line. NHL betting, the puck line, it's no different. So we found so many baseball players are now betting the NHL. So... Trace Adams, Brad Wilton, Chris Jordan, they had a great success last year. Jeff Benton as well with so many NHL plays. Gabriel DuPont did as well. DuPont is one of those guys months ago decided he just wanted to focus on the NHL. I said, fine. Dom Chambers is a guy who always had success in the NHL. He wanted to do NHL. I was looking for a guy. I brought him back as well. He's to 777 triple play today. So anyway, that'll do it. I wish you well. I'll talk to you again tomorrow. Good luck, everybody.